Finally, I want to talk about migration. Of the big three, births, deaths, and, 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 and migration, um, uh, migration is the most complex and changing of the demographic variables. It happens in huge bursts and tiny movements. You have the great migration from the south to the north, and you have the slower trickle of movement of Americans from small towns to the Midwest. In China right now, there's a huge burst of migration from the rural areas into the cities. So in different countries, we'll see different patterns of migration. Migration is much harder to measure. Births and deaths are typically chronicled by the state. Movements, not so much. Migration overall is selective, which means that more educated people migrate. That is, people who are generally a little bit more educated in their home countries. It's not always the case, but it's often the case more quote unquote adventurous people. So they have different characteristics. They are interested in migrating and it happens at distinct times in their life cycle. Migration is both the process of moving to a country, immigration, and leaving a country, emigration. Most migration is very small. It's not very big. It's not, it's not international migration. 18% of the United States moved last year. Only 3% moved to a new state, however, and only 1% moved to a new country. And over the course of your life, you'll migrate about 11 times. You'll move into different households about 11 times. Now, who cares about migration? Well, the migration tells us something. People moving tells us from one place to another tells us something about economic opportunities, about racial and ethnic dynamics, et cetera. So the great migration from the South to the North in the United States of Black Americans tells us something about racial dynamics. Actually, there's now a movement of Black Americans from the North to the South. That tells us something about economic opportunities, about changing racial dynamics and, and the experiences of racism both in the North and the South, et cetera. The migration tells us about the struggle of farming communities and rural spaces. And knowing about moves helps us prepare for potential problems. People move at kind of three critical age periods. One, when they're very young, when they're under five. And parents often, after they have children, they move to places where it's easier to raise children. People in their 20s move, and that's typically when people are setting up their careers. They either move out of their household, their, their initial household, to a new place. Um, some of them are college graduates, some of them are not. And then people move later in life, when they uh, retire. The set of people who move, in the United States are African Americans and Hispanics, and they move far more than whites. The reason why is because they rent. Um, high school dropouts and college educated people move at some of the highest rates. People who are college educated move at high rates because they're often searching for economic opportunities, and they're able to sort of capture economic opportunities in different regions, um, so they have more opportunities for them to move, and the risks of their moving losing their social networks and social ties are far lower. The highly educated typically also move the furthest distances. High school dropouts move a lot in part because of experiences of eviction, which can be catastrophic for them, as well as because they rent and they constantly are, are moving out of high rent into new rent opportunities as they can. I'm going to stop there, having introduced you to this, and in the next lecture we'll just briefly um, review some of the other patterns of migration um, in order and and uh, in order to see how changing population dynamics in this current moment is really going to be a defining feature of almost every single nation in the world's um, experience in part because of declining population levels and in part because of experiences of migration which are going to lead to and generate a range of new ethnic conditions within nations that are important for all of us to deal with.